Welcome back to Edius Editing for News. Today I'm going to look at sound mixing tips. On the timeline you can see I have a bunch of interviews strung out here. Now I apologise for the audio quality if you can't hear it. I haven't been able to record directly into the tutorial the sound so you'll just have to bear with me but mostly this is about waveforms as you can see at the bottom of the screen. These all have very different recording levels. We're material scientists, they're a bit like experimental chefs in the kitchen. Unfortunately, I think we've got a situation where it's a seller's mark. At most, the ACCC can monitor So there's a wide variety of recorded audio levels here. Now you could go through each one and change their levels based on the mixer and you would do this by putting the mixer into clip mode, not track mode, and then changing each one. So perhaps this one will come up, let's see. Up We're trying to get the... Need. turn that down. We're trying to aim for the audio level to bounce it around minus 6, between minus 12 and minus 6. So we would push this one all the way up. And it's still not high enough. What we can do to remedy that is to select all of the clips. And we need to use this button, the Normalize Selected Clips button. Now if you don't have that on your timeline, you'll go up to Settings, User Settings, then User Interface, then Buttons, then make sure Timeline is active, Category All, then you would select it. Now it's already a, on my timeline, it's down here, Normalize Selected Clips. Normally it would be over here in the list. And you would select it and add it to your own list and move it to wherever you want. So it's already mapped here on my timeline and it will work for any selected clips. So if I press that right now, you'll see a couple things happen. First, I have a little window saying, how would I like to normalize my levels? Well, I would like my levels to be normalized to say, minus 15 dB. And now, the waveforms have changed size. And if we play them back, that comes up between 12 and 6 dB. So does he. So does he. And the loudest parts of the last interview also come up. That's because the normalize function says, what is the loudest part of your interview or your clip? I will make that hit your target level. So anyway, what this means is that they now all have different values for clip properties. Let me drag over the clip property for their gain, audio gain. Look at this. It automatically set that at 21.5. Let's see another one. This one got 0.7. It was almost right. And this one got 22.4. Now that we're in the ballpark, we could change the automatic gain. I can put an automatic gain keyframe at each point that it's loud enough so that it anchors at the correct level. And then I can move the other ones, I can add, and then I can add further keyframes and increase the volume as required. Let's see how that goes. At most, the ACCC can monitor some prices, especially if directed by the Minister, but has no... So that's a lot quicker than trying to get all the levels right in the first instance and then modify them afterwards. So when you find that your interviews are all random levels and you need them to be the right level, we select all of the clips, then we use our Normalize Selected Clips button and we type in a value. Minus 15 generally gets me in the ballpark, you could make it minus 12. Good luck and happy ediacing.